Welcome, it's Dr. Paul coming to you with another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. The topic for today is diaper rashes. This is typically your first year of life. Occasionally you'll have diaper rashes in toddlerhood if they're still in a lot of, you know, still wearing diapers and having a lot of uh, accidents with loose stools perhaps. But primarily it's gonna be newborns, first year of life, that infant who's in a diaper and has a horrible rash. Now realize you're gonna have a lot of diaper rashes. For most people, you're gonna experience this. And the question comes, what's the cause and what do I do about it? So I think if you understand the cause, it becomes quite simple. Most diaper rashes are just a burn of the skin. So you have you know, acidic bowel movements, uh, ammonia in the urine, and it's in contact with your baby's delicate skin. Babies have very sensitive skin. And in this situation, you're going to have irritation and breakdown of the skin. And sometimes, once you add solid food, all sorts of changes happen in the stool. And some things can create some very toxic stool that burns in a very short period of time. So for the majority of diaper rashes, all you need is a very good barrier cream. Now after you've changed your baby, if they're prone to diaper rashes, I would use a lot of water, get that area very clean, pat dry as opposed to harsh rubbing, and then just smear on any of the white diaper creams. These typically have zinc, very healing, and you know if that diaper cream is so sticky you can't get it off your fingers, well that's what you want for your baby's bottom as well because it's preventing the stool, those poopy diapers, the urine, from getting into contact with your baby's skin and therefore it's preventing ongoing burns, ongoing rashes, ongoing damage to the skin. Within a few days you'll start to see your baby's skin is healing and I say use that stuff every diaper change. You're just continuing to keep a barrier. Wipe off, keep the bottom very clean and then smear that stuff on. I often talk about frosting. I mean you're just putting a lot on. Now I want to talk about the second leading cause of diaper rashes in little infants, and this is a yeast infection. The most common one is called candida. Candida can also cause thrush in the mouth, so if you have a newborn and right in the gums, on the tongue, in the cheeks, it's white, or you're seeing these little plaques of white, that's thrush. Now if you see a little white just on the tongue, that's usually just milk coating. I wouldn't get too alarmed about that, but when you see that white on the gums, that's thrush. Well, if they have thrush, they're shedding yeast spores into their stool, or even if they don't have thrush, if you have a rash that involves the creases, we're talking about, you know, when you're changing a diaper right in the creases of the thighs. If it's a little girl, it might be in the creases of the vaginal area, around the anus, areas that tend to be moist and don't get a lot of air, so they're not able to dry. So warm, moist places are the absolute best environment for the growth of yeast. So if your rash is predominantly in the creases, and then you'll often see with a yeast rash what we call satellite lesions, little tiny red spots that are just near the edge of the red area that's rashy. That's a yeast diaper rash. Some of the yeast these days, at least here in the United States and Oregon that we're facing, are rather resistant to antifungal creams. So you may have to get two different creams. You can, these are over the counter, these are the same creams we use for athlete's foot or feminine yeast infections. And you can just alternate a couple, one, one diaper change, use another active ingredient, the next diaper change. And just alternate those each diaper change. And if it's a yeast rash, it'll start clearing within a few days. I want to mention one last rash, about one out of a hundred, tends to be perianal. If this is your child's anus, you'll see that the rash is right around the anus and it's beefy red. That can be a strep infection. Very, very rare. It's probably not what's going on, but just to keep that in the back of your mind, you may need to see your doctor. If you're doing the things as far as protecting with barrier creams first, if that's not working, you're alternating antifungal creams and it's still not working, and especially if it's perianal right around the anus and it's beefy red, it may be a perianal strep infection. You need to see your doctor for this. So that's my summary on diaper rashes. I hope you find that helpful, and thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.